There are four major principles that make a language object-oriented. These are abstraction, encapsulation, inheritance, and polymorphism. They are also called as four pillars of object-oriented programming. Object-oriented programming combines a group of related variables and functions into a unit. We call that unit an object. An object consists of states, actions, and identity. We refer to these states as attributes or properties, and the actions as methods. Here's an example. Think of a shape. A shape is an object with properties such as color and area and methods like getArea and getColor. The object-oriented design allows you to establish controls to restrict the visibility and access to the members of a class in such a way that they can protect and hide the data and the actions defined in the class from the access of other classes. Abstraction allows objects to interact without having to know the details of how they work. This is to focus the focus on important aspects of the object under study, ignoring the irrelevant aspects that can distract attention. Abstraction also allows selecting those members of the class that are relevant to the problem to be solved depending on the approach with which the problem is analyzed. That is, the same object of study can be analyzed from various aspects or points of view, which can generate a large number of features and actions. Encapsulation allows to include in the same container both the features of the object and their actions, unlike other programming paradigms where the models were separate in the object-oriented programming, they are keep packaged in the same container. This also allows you to set usage restrictions since you can define the aspect that will be published of the objects and those that will be keep hiding in such a way that the objects present mechanisms to interact with other objects and with this only the respective mechanisms must be known without understanding the implementation details. Encapsulation defines the levels of access to the elements of a class. These levels determine the access control to the attributes, methods, and properties defined as public, private, or others. In its most elementary form, when an object is instantiated or created, it acquires the features and actions defined in the class to which it belongs. However, there are also occasions when classes can be organized hierarchically, where classes located on the higher levels share their features and actions with classes on the lower levels. With this, it is, it is possible to define new classes from ex existing ones. Also, other features and actions can be added to them. Inheritance is a mechanism that allows hierarchically classifying a set of classes and its main objective is to reduce code. Science it allows designing new classes derived from other previously designed in such a way that all elements defined in the class or base class are automatically based on two subclasses or derived classes without rewriting them. Polymorphisms refers to an object exhibiting different actions depending on the context where it is, changing the way or of reacting to certain requests. This allows two methods to implement different actions, even if they have the same name. There are several ways to implement polymorphisms. The most common is when a base class inherits a method to subclasses or derived classes and gives them the opportunity to modify the implementation of saved inherited methods so that 
each of the derived class adapt the way to implement and execute the inherited method according to your own needs. So here are the benefits of object-oriented programming. Using abstraction, we hide the details and the complexity and show only the essentials. This technique reduces complexity and also isolates the impact of change in the code. With encapsulation, we group related variables and functions together and this way we can reduce complexity. Now we can reduce or reuse this object and do from parts of a program or in different programs. With inheritance, we can eliminate redundant code and with polyforms, we can refactor and object change behavior on runtime. And that's it guys, see you!